I met Dick Heller as a speaker escort at an event called CPAC, which is, if you're not familiar with conservative or Republican politics, it's essentially the Super Bowl or the shot show of politics. Anyone who's anyone is there. Um, usually we range about two to 3,000 international um, media are there. And I think this year we ranged about a quarter million people attended. So this is wow. massive. Um, this is what actually broke me in politics. Um, five and a half years ago, I was a speaker escort. I was in a horrible, horrible relationship. Prior to meeting Mr. Heller, I had been beaten into a coma six times. Mm. I had been found left for dead in a dumpster in Baltimore. And I got the opportunity to work backstage at CPAC. It was still in Washington, D.C., because this is obviously post, you know, pre COVID and pre communism takeover. And um, I was putting makeup on a black eye and we kind of hit it off. And that year was the 10 year anniversary of the Heller decision. Mm. Up until that time, I had no idea who the guy was. He was a super nice grandfather figure, really outgoing and friendly. I had no idea how big of a deal he was until I did a little research on my own. Um, it's, it's really crazy, but um, when I was attending law school at Sydney Uni in Australia, I won a ticket to eat dinner with Justice Scalia mm. about three months after he had written that decision wow. in 2008. So it's, it's kind of strange and maybe God godly even that the stars aligned in, in that regard. Well, um, let, me, let me stop you right there for a second because the stars have aligned again and we have uh, Rich Heller on the phone right now with us. He's joining us on the phone. Uh, so uh, Rich, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate that. What a great surprise. How are you today? Uh, remember uh, James Bond? Yeah. <laughs> the name is Dude. A dude, Gun, gun Dude. dude. <laughs> right. Well, you Truth are the Gun Dude. Stirred. 